five minute zero and just throw out the night and let's just support the pawn keep it simple let's just capture and develop the bishop take with the well let's get rid of the bishop yeah that's fine don't mind doubling the pawns at all so they'll be targeting this with the knight or the queen one or the other let's just get castled as we do okay as we said the queen's going to be targeting the pawn here this pawn's going to push down so i'm just going to bring the queen here the rook's going to come opposite because the queen is there oh it's not done that so that hopefully might be a missed tempo that we can take advantage of I'm going to attack the queen they might just take we can take yeah okay and we lose the bishop though doing that as we see okay let's go here so they've gone for a nice greedy munch it looks good they've got a minor piece up so what do we do we've made an error so we have to find good position now with our pieces yeah i moved a little bit quick there let's just bring the knight across these things happen they happen in over the board games as you know well with me anyway um not just me it's everybody else so we'll we'll um attack the bishop here bishop's going to escape now nice and steady so how do we improve our position we've got to find some way to attack got the rook coming here i mean all these are small potato type attacks because it's easily defended pawn pushes down so they're thinking now they've got more pieces yes yeah, so it escapes so we could bring the knight here attacking their pawn maybe we'll just bring the rook here instead because this pawn's going to be coming and attacking yeah so it's easily defended like we said now it stops the spaces for our knight moving our knight can come back here or it can come back here so we could hit their pawn but we don't have any support i think we're going to bring the knight back so what's the bishop planning some sort of attack maybe to here maybe getting the knight in here um might not be thinking any of those things so we could bring the knight up making it look like we're doing something could attack the pawn but then he can push down but we do have a two on one so i'm going to attack the pawn see if we can make some space for the rooks need to have some sort of open file somewhere so these are the types of games that help well will help you to improve because when you're playing over the board you are going to lose a piece um at some point in time you know you're going to make an error you you would have done some sort of tunnel vision type maneuver or the the continuation that you'd planned in your head you calculated it just sort of falls flat so these types of games where you're trying to fight back i believe do help improve your game a little bit because we've had some recent games um over the board where we've we've been down a minor piece or down a pawn or whatever and we've tried to fight back as best possible and it did feel quite nice being able to do that so the knights defending the pawn area we're still going to take the pawn anyway and this is where it could be a little bit of a problem i'm hoping for the opponent let's attack the knight maybe we can sit here with the rooks get them lined up they'll be looking to trade down obviously because they are a minor piece up i don't have an issue with that so long as hopefully maybe we can try and improve our position a bit so that the opponent has to work a little bit harder so the knight's moved, it's gone to our key square, so we don't really want it there. But we could move our knight maybe to here this time. Paul's going to touch it. It's something to do with the knight. I think we're going to go here. We're going to go here with the knight, maybe looking to attack. And yeah, we're going to attack the knight. I'm not sure if he's going to take with the rook if he's wanting to own the file. No, he's not going to do that. So we could take the knight or we could bring the knight here. What's it really doing here though? I mean, goes here, it can't jump there because the pawn's there. Can't go here, the pawn's there, you know, it's a... Uh, hmm. Could go here attacking the pawn. I think we'll do that. 
So I am looking to trade down as well, but if there's opportunities to cause a bit of trouble on the way. So we could go here and get his rook off the board. That's an interesting situation. Oh, but the pawn is there. Oh, oh isn't that a killer? So if we go here, I don't think he's going to take with the rook because he's going to lose the pawn. So he goes there. I'm going to put a check on. So he's moved back feeling safe. So I'm going to come across here, looking to go here. King's going to come across the block. Just wanting to get rid of this knight because he doesn't want this pawn taken, but that's been a bit greedy really. He's already got a minor piece up. Time wise, the time is going down, but it's not, it's a long way off anything. It's got zero increment. I don't really know what's taking long. They're tempting to do this, just gets our knight out of the way. We come here then we're out of the picture completely yeah exactly so if we go there you don't have to take it could always x-ray through i think that's what we're going to do just come back here come back maybe come back here or something like that so now it's like a time thing for me can we um win on time here because i don't think we're going to win positionally or anything like that Let's hope, fingers crossed, the opponent runs out of time. I don't mind. With, ooh. So the less pieces he's going to have on the board, the more difficult it's going to be for them. So I'm going to, seeing as their time is running out, and I'm going to bring the knight up. And let's just bring this pawn here, just to be a bit of a nuisance now. Knight's coming round. Is What's he looking for? Let's just bring the king up. He's got a pawn maybe, yeah he's got a pawn over here, let's go here, and he's got the other pawn so we might as well push this up a little bit. So they're moving fast now so they don't want to get flagged. So they're wise to the situation, this knight's coming here anyway isn't it, so let's, uh, what do we have, we can attack the bishop, got a space to come back down here. So they've moved, let's bring the knight back around again. It's the only active piece we've got really. It's attacking our pawn, interesting times. Um, ba, ba, ba. Let's go and attack his pawn. He takes and he's coming around, he's got to check on our king. Time's running out for them though, so we can relax, chill. I don't think there's a checkmatey type thing per se. Uh, let's attack the knight stay on this half let's attack this pawn now my knight's trapped oh it's not trapped Ooh, chippy shall we take just come here 36 seconds they're on I think they might be able to do it and they've resigned <laughs> fantastic these are the types of games we like to play, you know, when you're a piece down, just keep fighting away because you never know, the opponent might make a mistake. This is a typical example of that. 